Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Glory, hallelujah, to the Most High God. Father, I pray that you would hide me behind the cross tonight. Let it be none of me but all of you. Speak through these lips of clay and everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted and more from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, let every soul that's lost be saved. Let everybody that's sick be healed. Let everybody bound go free in the name of Jesus. Anoint this service, Father, in Jesus' name. We pray and call it done by faith. We cast our bread upon the water. And we expected to come back as pure gold tonight in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. There we go, Sister White. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. How are you, sister? I am blessed and highly favored and looking Ooh, forward to singing this song tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's actually the first song you ever started singing. Yes. Amen. It's like it's coming it. Wow. It's yep, the God's anniversary. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're that coming back creative. <laughs> I'm telling you. This has been phenomenal. It's been a year of pure glory. And God really has is. truly showed himself mighty in both my life. Cool. You know, and I'm just so happy to have you on the ministry team. I'm actually glad to say I have a team together cool. right now. You and Ricky are a part of my team. And I love y'all. You know, y'all are a part of my advisory. You know, like, when God gives me a little load, I pass it along to y'all. Just pass it over to y'all. Thank you, Jesus. I am sharpening the so that we can. Amen. I tell you, I was so activated with the enemy tonight. The truck broke down. And it, it looked like we weren't getting home tonight. And, and you know, the enemy was just like, You ain't going to get to preach this word. Well, I'm like, Yes, I am going to preach this word in the name of Jesus. I get home. Don't even have my suit on tonight. I was going to dress up tonight. It don't matter. It don't matter. Let me tell you something. My heart's dressed up. God's put me in righteous clothing. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Tonight's going to be lit, as you would say. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm telling you, sister, we have got to get ready because the hour for true revival is about to break loose. This is the hour for revival. You know, and I'm excited about what I'm seeing Jesus getting to do, you know, because it's interesting that he nailed our sins to that cross. I'm just so grateful that he nailed the judgment that we deserve to the cross. I mean, that's something to think about right there. If people can't get to shouting that he nailed our sins to the cross, something wrong with their soul, because I'm telling you, that is an amazing statement that Paul makes, you know, you know a great you know, statement. They had us they at had church, us at church right down right our prayer down request. Our prayer request. Mm. And actually, and actually to the cross. Wow. Has to has to yep. Yep. Mm. I'm telling you, it is truly the darkest hour that the church has ever seen. I mean, Jesus said the hour was coming when no man could work. Why? Because of the darkness. Yes. Yes. And it, it's that hour. The time is far spent, the day is at hand. We've been hearing all these scriptures all this time. Now we're coming down to the drawing line. And now yes. it's yes. over. Time is up. I've been looking at, at some things tonight in the spirit, and I've been examining some people's hearts in the spirit tonight. And 
the Lord showed me we are in the wickedest time that the world has ever seen. But we are also in the greatest time the Bible and the people have ever seen of God. Because it seems like, I said this the other day, the only time it seems like revival breaks loose is when all hell breaks loose right before it hits. Amen. Amen. We want revival, but yet we're not willing to pay the price in the church. And it's a crushing. And it's a crushing. Mm -hmm. It's a question that yes. we have to, we our have old, to our old old man old has to die. Mm -hmm. We have to be we reborn have to be, reborn and have to be have made to be in Christ's image. image. And that's yes, a question. Because yeah. we have to put to death the old man. 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 I, see. I see you got a little visitor in the background with you. Oh, yeah. I know, I, I know, I hear I love it. That is so precious. Go ahead and Go keep ahead and sing the word. word. Yes, amen. Go ahead and sing, sister. Praise okay. the Lord. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I don't, I don't know what to, to say exactly how it is, and I can't and I can begin, begin to, to tell you. Tell you. What what is meant? I'm lost for words. Is there is there to show the past in my life? Can I miss a truly great you? My dearest friend, no to put on Oh, 
God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you something. I, I, I love what the scripture is going to say tonight. How he presents things in his courtroom. I don't know who this is for, but God's fighting your case for you tonight. And he's going to rule in your favor, says the Lord. Amen. I don't know that was for. Amen. Donna. Amen, Sister Donna. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want you to tell her the Lord said that in Jesus' name. Read the Amplified to her. For, uh, Colossians 2, 14 through 15. That's what I'm getting ready to read right now. Thank you so much for singing tonight, Sister. And uh, I believe I already sent you the song for uh, Sunday. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. I prepare for battle on my knees. That's one of my favorite worship songs. Hallelujah. Right Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I the love you, Sister. The light is bright in that dream over you, Henry, and in here. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I feel the glory tonight coming over me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I was on my way. I said, Lord, just. Let me feel your glory tonight. Just let, just give me the words to say. Give me the word. And I mean, it was already written down, but I mean, you can preach a thousand messages, but unless the anointing is on what you're saying, you ain't doing nothing but wasting your breath. Come on now. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. And I know the anointing's on this. I said, praise God. Amen. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to get ready to say, uh, preach. Thank you for singing, sister. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I know that it's late, but the word is right on time. Amen. We, I may be late. But the word is on time. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. If you've got your Bibles, turn with me to Colossians chapter 2, verses 13 through 14. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. When you were dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, worldliness, manner of life, God made you alive together with Christ, having freely forgiven us all our sins. Forgiven us all our sins. Understand what that's saying. He looked past your fault, as Sister Dottie Rambo penned, looked past your fault and saw your need. Come on, somebody. Give God some glory tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But now listen to this. God made you alive together with Christ, having freely forgiven us all our sins. He chose to do it instead of passing judgment against us. Having canceled out, this is the Amplified, y'all, having canceled out the certificate of debt. Ooh, hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Having canceled out the certificate of debt, consenting of legal demand, consisting of legal demands which were in force. The wages of sin is death. The price for your sins was in force. 
You were under the curse of the law, but Jesus redeemed you from the curse of the law. What was the curse of the law? Man's inability to keep the law. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The circumstances, the circumcision of Christ, wait a minute. Having canceled out the certificate of debt, consenting of consisting of legal demands which were in force against us and which were hostile to us. There was a severe penalty for our sins. Vicky, God bless you. Jeff, God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Sophia, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Against us which were hostile toward us listen to this and the certificate he has set aside and completely removed by nailing it to the cross brother Daniel God bless you amen he nailed it to the cross are you breathing amen praise God thank you Jesus it says and having nailed it to the cross, listen to verse 15. When he had disarmed the rulers and authorities, those supernatural forces of evil operating against us, he made a public example of them, exhibiting them as captives in his triumphant procession. He he paraded them around and said, you lost. He did whatever, what every hero does. He paraded them around. These are the losers. We are the victorious. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are more than conquerors because of Jesus Christ. Understand that. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Glory to God. We're more than conquerors we are overcomers somebody hear what i'm preaching tonight thank you lord jesus glory hallelujah holy ghost thank you jesus amen rulers and authorities those in super supernatural forces of evil operating against us he made a public example of them exhibiting them as captives in his triumphal procession having triumphed over them through the cross amen glory hallelujah jesus brother edwin god bless you hallelujah amen thank you holy ghost elijah brother god bless you amen hallelujah thank you jesus glory lord amen so i'm going to entitle the message tonight somebody yell it god done nailed it amen glory hallelujah jesus amen I said, I'm going to call it, somebody yell it, God done nailed it. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. A shout. You heard of the shot heard around the world? There was a shout heard all through heaven as Yeshua, Jesus, was hanging on Golgotha's hill. And he cried out, Father, forgive thee. They know not what they do to me. At that moment, God nailed the ordinances of judgment against us to the cross of Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It was God that nailed that to the cross. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you something, my friends. It was not nails that kept Jesus Christ on that cross. It was his love for you and for me. It was the power of his love for you and me, knowing that if he didn't go through with this passion, if he did not come and die on the cross, then we would not be forgiven of our sins. He he knew he was the only way for us to be redeemed. He knew that no other 
could do it. That it had to be supernatural, an act of God becoming flesh and dying in the place of man. He knew he had to do it, and he did it gladly. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The shout heard around eternity. He opened up his mouth. The last thing he said on the cross was Totelestai. It is finished. It is accomplished. Forgiveness has come. Redemption has come. And before the man that was beside Jesus died, the man that was railing began to realize who he was mocking. And the Bible says, Be ye not deceived, God is not mocked. What a man sows, he will reap. He said, If you are the Son of God, save us. And then he turned around and said, Wait a minute. He is the Son of God. He ain't done nothing wrong. Lord, forgive me. I'm undone. He, he said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Wait a minute. That word remember does not mean to take knowledge of. It means to reassemble according to the Greek. <laughs> Hebrew, according to the Hebrew, it means to reassemble. It means the person was saying, Lord, woe is me. I am undone in the presence of Almighty God. I am naked and ashamed of my sins. Let me tell you something. They got a, a, a show out there called Naked and Afraid. Let me tell you something. This man was not a survivor that was dying beside Jesus. This man was a sinner to the core. He was existing, not surviving. And the man was naked. Everyone that they put on a cross was naked. There was no lowing cloths or nothing like that. The body of Jesus was hanging there publicly naked for you and me. So was the thief beside him. This man was naked and afraid of dying. He said, don't you fear God even when you are dying to the other guy? And he said, we are paying for our sins. But this man has done nothing. He started railing and then he started repenting. He started making fun of Jesus with the other guy. But let me tell you something, my friend. Do you know who was supposed to be on that middle cross? It was Barabbas, Jesus Barabbas. Yeshua Barabbas was his name. And Yeshua Barabbas, who was actually the same age as our Jesus, the Messiah, was 33 years old, and Jesus took his place. He became the scapegoat. He said, I'm going to die in the place of those that don't deserve grace and mercy. I'm going to allow them to put me on the hill and let me die. And Jesus became the ram in the bush. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, God. Let me tell you something. The innocent lamb died that we may become free. He died that we might become redeemed. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He took our place. Just like he took Yeshua Barabbas' place on the cross, he took our place. He said, I'm going to be the one that takes the, the nails for him. Now, I've got you a little illustration right here. This would have been about the consistency of railroad spike would have been the consistency of the nail in length, I mean, in width. But the, the length of it would have probably been a little bit longer and a lot more sharper. But this 
is exactly what went through the wrist of Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah. Yeshua ben Joseph and Yeshua ben David. He's the same Yeshua. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Something, this is a lot more nicer than what the original one looked like. I'm sure of that. But three nails, two in his wrist, one between his ankle bones. Three nails held him to a cross, but it was more than the nails. It was his love for you and me. That's what held him to the cross of God, got this heal. He said, I'll take their place. Listen to me, I'm not even halfway through yet. The Lord won't let me <laughs> to go halfway through here. Here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The shout heard round heaven changed our eternity. Do you know? Know that in Ecclesiastes 12 and 11, that it talks about being like a well-driven nail. It says these nails are given to shepherds. I'm going to go ahead and go to that. Ecclesiastes 12 and 11. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I hope somebody's getting blessed tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lamb of God. Amen. Well, 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 I feel the glory on this message tonight. Somebody say, I can feel the glory. You have waited, says the Lord. You've waited patiently on me, says the Lord. And because you have waited on the Lord, I, the Lord, have turned your situation. And the Lord says to tell you, you are in the shelter of the Most High, and you shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. For the Lord says to tell you, I have not forgotten my word that I have declared to you, says the Lord. For this is the hour, says God, that I shall do what I have declared in your life. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and you will be a part of it, for you are flesh. But the Lord says to tell you, you will surely be captured captivated by the spirit and you will captivate the captives and the lord says to tell you i will bring others out as they listen to you speak not by elegant words but by the words from the heart of the father says the spirit of the living god in jesus name amen Woo, hallelujah god denise god bless you amen hallelujah Praise the Lamb of God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody needs this message tonight. Amen. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, see, this is why the enemy didn't want me to get home tonight, because he didn't want this kind of preaching done. But it's done in Jesus' name. Sister White said, let's get it done. I said, Lord, yes, let's get it done, Sister White, in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 11 of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. The words of the wise are like prodding goes. And these collected sayings are firmly fixed in the mind like well-driven nails. Hallelujah, Jesus. They are given by one shepherd. Ezekiel 37, 24. Not only did our shepherd give the nails, the wisdom of God. Wait a minute. It says that there's a, a reference point for that. If y'all want to go find the reference point to that, Ezekiel 37, 24. It's like well-driven nails. The wisdom is like well-driven nails given by one shepherd. But let me explain something to you. Do you know that not only did the shepherd give the nails, he wore the nails. He 
received those nails upon himself. Come on, somebody. Let me explain something to you. Do you understand? He hung publicly naked so you could be clothed in his righteousness. Ooh, somebody got to get that right there on the nose. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. They were wide and long. That's right. That's what I was just talking about, sister. Praise the Lord. This is sort of a rough image of what they would have looked like. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Talks about being like well-driven nails given by the shepherd. Our shepherd bore the nails. Mark 15 and 24, the nails were driven through his wrists and through his feet. Now here is something powerful to think about. The, the word, watch this, nails were used to create idols, Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 4, nails were created to make idols, Judges, uh, Jeremiah 10 and 4, Judges, uh, idols were made by nails, Jeremiah 10 and 4, but with the nails our Savior bore, he destroyed the idols of wood and stone. Even a woman, mm, you women of God need to hear this one good time. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's right. Every time the nails hit his wrist, the hole in his hand became bigger. You're right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But God used a woman with a tent peg which actually, I found out, would be like a railroad spike. It would be a common railroad spike. They would use one of these, and the Bible says that she jammed it through the eyes of an enemy of Israel. Judges 4 and 21. <laughs> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Judith, that's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord God. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But she took a railroad spike, basically, took the tent nail and a hammer and said, I'm done with the harassment of the enemy. Wham! Rammed it right through his eye. He was tormenting the people of God, which is the apple of God's eye. So let me tell you what he learned the hard way forever. He learned an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God in heaven. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Amen. I was wondering what I'm smelling. I'm smelling the oil and the, the dirt off of this. <laughs> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I love you, Jesus. Amen. So if God can use a woman to, to destroy the works of a devil that was harassing his eye, that was poking God hey, hey, in the eye, then God can use you. Let me tell you something, honey. If God had a woman carry his living word, He's got no problem with a woman carrying his written word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. We are neither male nor female, but we are all one in the body of Christ. That's what the Bible says. Amen. He said, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Brother Paul Evans. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. But God used a woman. Listen to me, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
to catch a man on the run who had been harassing God and his people. And God got the better of him because he nailed him through the eyes. <laughs> Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. No pun intended, but we have got to become nailed down in God. Isaiah 54 and 2. What do you say to the builder of your soul when you see this? God is the one who builds your life. You can find them all over the place by railroad tracks. They're all over railroad tracks. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What do you say to the builder of your soul? You see, for God to build our life just like with a home, it starts out with, watch this, a plan, a master plan, and nails. Isaiah 22, 23. Do you know before iron, I found this out, it blew my mind, I got to shout, thank you, Jesus, praise the Lord, amen. Do you know that before iron, can sharpen iron. The last one was Isaiah 22, 23, sister. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Denise says she's going to go to the railroad tracks and find some mind her of Jesus and tell the devil to go to hell. Amen. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 22 and 23, unless the Lord shall build the house they weary builders toil in vain that's right isaiah 22 and 23 that's right amen thank you jesus isaiah 54 and 2 talks about how he is going to expand the tent state say amen glory to god thank you jesus amen let me tell you something do you know before iron can sharpen iron nails have got to be placed in the anvil. It's got to be driven in. It's got to have a firm foundation. Let me tell you something. The Bible says that the word of God in Isaiah says he is like a hammer. You've got to keep hitting the word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. Brother Michael, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen, like I said, do you know that before iron can sharpen iron, 1 Chronicles 22 and 3, it says that in 1 Chronicles 22 and 3 that it has to be nailed down. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. It has to literally be nailed in place. Amen. All right. God bless you, Sister Denise. Amen. Love you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. And who is the one that nails it? Jesus, our Messiah, our Savior, Yeshua nails the tent stakes down. He's the one that stretches out the tent stakes. Zechariah 10 and 4. Amen. 10 4, you hear me? <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I know it's 11 o'clock at night, but I just had to release this word from Yeshua tonight before I go to bed. And Father, right now, I bless each and every one watching this telecast in Jesus' name. For those that are lost and back or backslid, you need the tent, st the tent stakes firmly put in the ground. You've been moving everywhere. You're tired of moving. You're tired of being on the run from God. Come to him now. Let him stretch out your tent stakes and put them down deep in the ground for you. Let him be the one to stretch out your tent, Isaiah 54 and 2. Let him be the one. 
because only he can stretch it out the way it needs to be stretched. Only he can drive the nails strong enough that they won't break apart when the winds of life come by and blow away everything else. I want you to to repent of your sins and turn to Jesus. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Lord Jesus, wash me, cleanse me, fill me with your precious Holy Spirit, that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' name, Amen, amen, and amen. Let the glory of God come upon each and every person watching, Father. Thank you, Father, for saving every lost soul. I command total deliverance in their mind in the name of Jesus, Father. Thank you for healing their soul and healing their body in the name of Jesus, Father. Fill everybody watching with the Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus' name, Lord. Let there be the greatest miracle of all, salvation overshadowing each and every one of them. Sozo, let them completely like nothing in the name of Jesus. Father, fill them with the Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's done, it's done, it's done in Jesus' name. To tell us that it is accomplished. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Write to me, our full revival at yahoo.com. I can't wait to hear what the Lord has done for you. If you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, please go to my YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button and listen to the broadcast over again. My spiritual daughter got a breakthrough in her life, a prophecy that God gave me for her. Jesus got the prophecy through, and it, he answered it for her. So glory to God in heaven. I can't wait to see the great things God's getting ready to do through my spiritual daughter. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you, Amanda. God bless you, baby girl. I'm telling you, I'm blessed to be your spiritual Father, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, praise the Lord. I just love each and every one of you. God bless you. Thank you for standing beside this ministry through everything. Uh, there, there's been a lot of people leave recently. There's been a lot of people um, decide they don't want to walk with us together anymore, but that's all right. We love them. We're praying for them in Jesus' name. But I do want you to continue to pray for this ministry, for the Lord to continue to give wisdom and strength in Jesus' name. I am more encouraged now than I ever have been in my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you decide that you would like to give, you can do so by going to Cash App and typing in Cash Tag Our for revival, your love gifts, large or small, keep helping us bring the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world, not just here, but abroad as well. We're getting ready to travel, so if you feel led to bless us, go ahead in the name of Jesus. Amen. I love you, and I pray for everyone that does bless us a thousandfold return, according to Deuteronomy 111, and those that didn't have it to give, Lord bless them too. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. A thousandfold return in Jesus' name. I love you. God bless you. See you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.